Tash, how are you? Hopefully you're well. And you made it just in time. So let's get it, let's get it going. All right. So we've got um about 20 of us. This this is okay. Right now, um, basically, guys, I'm gonna pre-frame. I've just got some basic notes here. Today's seminar, let's go, is how to set up an online personal training business as a face-to-face -face trainer, the correct in capital letters way. Hands up here if you have ever been a face-to-face -face trainer or are currently a face-to-face -face trainer. Should be every single one of you. Well done. Um, basically, guys, online personal training has become the new, the new way, I think, over the, na the last sort of, I don't know, maybe five years. It's probably been primar primarily quite strong. And basically, it is not what it seems. Hands up here who does any online training at all. So we've got quite a few hands here. Beck, you are one of those, right? So you put your hand up. Who, uh, Dan Pardo, what's easier to grow, online business or face-to-face, -face, brother? Face-to-face, -face, easy. Any reason why? The interactions, are, I, I reckon, like... Um... I mean, like, I, I probably, I believe in it more as well. You know, uh, the, crucial, the, the crucial. service, the service is a lot better. So like, I just find it, I, I believe in it. So it's easier to sell. Um, I have had online clients in the past, but um, yeah, maybe it's my belief in it. That's probably what it is. I love that. Look, I, I think that is something huge. Thanks for that, Dan, because today I want to make sure that all of you are going to enjoy what we're, we're going to talk about today. And it's so freaking simple, but it's also going to create leveraged income stream, which is like what we all want. But if you can walk away with a higher level of belief in this income stream, then you're going to be excited. So I think belief is something that you mentioned there, Dan, which is awesome. So well done for that. Um, I think anyone else want to share with like why you think online's harder than face to face? Anyone? Yeah, is that a hand, Tay? Take yourself off mute there, don't. I mean, personally, I haven't had the best experience myself with online coaches as well. Like, um, I know I looked up uh, to like the bodybuilding dietitians because I'd followed them for ages and I'd started with them and they didn't listen to my thoughts. I said I had a bad experience with comp prep and then they put me back into a comp prep and I was like, cool, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's my personal experience listen to the client like do you know what i mean listen to the client um i don't want to do this all right let's go and do that yeah sweet um okay so there's that i think look in general guys um belief is huge what dan said that's actually massive but the main thing here is that trust likeability and rapport are harder than ever to build online face to face you guys that are, of which some of you are in the gyms right now um i think you are jack anyway it looks you're normally attending from the gym yeah so and Alex in his home gym, Jono, it's same thing, like whatever, like guys, when you are seen, you're real, right? You're real. You are a real person. A lot of people don't believe like people that have profiles are real people a lot of the time. Has anyone here ever with social media outreach sent outbound messages and got something back nasty in return? Anyone? Alex, you, 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 if you hadn't, bro, you're not doing it big enough and better enough yet, but you have, that's good. I get this and it pisses me off, but I'm very thick skinned towards it. I get it a ton of times. Coaching industry, like where I am or consulting, even more ruthless than what you guys are in, right? Um, but you're seen in the gyms, therefore you're real. Therefore it's easy to be liked, right? You're Aurora and we always talk about your Aurora, be bubbly, be go out there, get you know, get involved, right? Your Aurora, therefore, is absorbed so people like you and they can build rapport with you. You can do that so easily face-to-face. -face, and this is why online is so hard. Now, there's also something else which is crucially important, again, in the pre-framing phase, um, which is this. The online industry is, who do you think it's more attractive to? The clientele or the trainers? Someone just, someone's, you, you won't disagree with it. It's, it's attractive to you because of what we're going to talk about today. Like I said, and I'm going to go through this. Look, I mean, we're a great bunch here, guys. I love every single one of you. And I'm very lucky to have some of the best clients in the world. We are driven by helping people. Is that correct? We get paid well on the side of that. 
because we're driven by helping people. Now, online trainers, nine times out of 10, are selfish because they want a leveraged income stream and they want to help more people without putting in the, as much work as what face-to-face -face trainers do. Now, I'm not saying here, Beck, Beck Harper, Suzanne and Kel that do online, Alex, so I'm not saying that you guys are selfish. You're not. You're working with me. I know you're not selfish. But for a lot of trainers, they've been kind of dragged into this model of this is the future, this is the way it's going to go, right? When realistically, it's not. So face-to-face -face will always be here, guys. But as a way of leveraging, what I'm going to show you today, which we're going to get into soon, is how you can do online training correctly and how you can serve people the right way. All right. And you can have a leveraged income stream, which is where the selfishness does come from 90 percent of trainers. But they just think that people are just going to take action. Now, let's talk about that for a second. Anyone here got any clients that don't do shit? Yeah, <laughs> like I'm quite blunt with that. James, all of your clients take action, bro. Can't hear you, bro. Um, yeah. Find like because of my price point, um, yes. they um, yeah, like like you say, like if you pay for it, um, you know, if you're paying serious money for it, then you're gonna listen to the advice. Yes. Um, and I suppose like the luxury of having a couple of trainers work for me as well is I can sort of pick and choose my clients a bit more. Yes. Um, so like if I, <clears throat> you know, if I get a, a tire kicker, um, sometimes I'll, I'll just say, look, I, I feel like I'm not getting good results with you, and like. Would you want to try working with a different trainer? Um, so yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm pretty lucky in that regard. Um, yeah. But yeah, in the, in the past, I've um, I've definitely had clients who just you know don't don't put effort in or um, just aren't aren't invested in their in their goals as much as I am. I feel sometimes, which is crazy. Um, that's, a, that's such a good point, man. As yeah. I am, a lot of online trainers expect, and this whole pre-framing, guys, is really clear. It's really crystal clear, and it's really really important talk about as much as james does a lot of online trainers expect like that that joe blogs who's 150 kilos is automatically going to take action like james does now as we spoke about last week if you guys haven't watched that last seminar about the like fundamentals to do to be successful we spoke about james's price point in there um again just for the guys like james because it's inspirational what do you charge what's your half hour session price I feel bad saying it, but yeah, I charge. Um, I've been charging about one hundred and fifty dollars a session, yeah. um, for a half hour. So yeah, yeah, one hundred and fifty dollars um, for a half hour. When people pay, they pay attention. Has it, I've said that many, many times. Right? You pay, you pay attention. If has anyone here ever coached people for free, and ironically, they just don't take action? Yeah, just, I love how you're laughing, Tony. It's fucking true, bro. If you don't, if you don't make, if people don't pay, they're not invested, so they don't pay attention. Pay to pay attention. I would coach every single person for free, but I have fucking done it a lot of times. And I'm telling you, every single person, they didn't even open the portal. They never even opened the portal. That's how far they got. It's because they don't pay attention. Suzanne, is, are you looking at me like you don't open the portal right there? Is that what you're saying? No? Okay, <laughs> all right. So make sure you open a portal. Um, but anyway, so basically, look, People I said we would open the portal if you gave us it free. <laughs> oh, well, look, that's not happening because we're, we're here. You've got to pay to pay attention, right? But at the same time, look, I know that you guys would probably, you probably would. But the thing is as well, and a lot of it comes down to why should I trust? Why should I trust Simon? Why should I listen? Why should I open this portal? Even though he said, I'll give you a head start and coach you for free. Again, that's a prime example of the likability and the trust and rapport, which is so hard to build online, all right? Um, now, authority, I was actually gonna speak about that before, but James said really rightly so with his price point, $150 per half an hour session. The, the reason why James did not put his hand up when we spoke before and I asked the question, who's here got clients that don't take action or who haven't taken action and he didn't, I freaking love you for not putting your hand up, bro. The reason why is because of his authority. Authority in an online marketplace is really important because if people don't take, if they, if they don't take action, 
all right? They're not getting anywhere. So we've got to communicate. Like you got to think with the face-to-face nature of most of you guys' businesses, but the, the, uh, the wantingness to kind of transform online or have an online income stream, people get results with you because they turn up because you're there. James has authority, uh, professionally and politely. I always say two Ps with this. Professionally and politely, you need to be authoritative with clients so that they're getting the accountability to take action in the online space that we're going to talk about in a second. For all of you guys here, I think there's a lot of you guys that, that could always get better. I think, Jack, we've spoken about it before, about being more authoritative. Tay, we've had a couple of calls recently. Tom Rose, definitely, like we've spoken about it. Um, Zach, I think we spoke about it too, brother, recently. Like it's going to stem from the top. Authority, like why I am such a blunt prick most of the time. It's only because without being this level of authoritative nature, which all of you guys I know secretly love, you're not going to get it. Oh, yeah, but... I'll just tiptoe and be soft. No, you ain't going to listen if you don't get it from someone who's been there, done it, and and got the T-shirt. And if you want to hear it bluntly, or even if you don't want to hear it bluntly, I'm going to give it to you bluntly because it's how it's going to work. And that's what you need to hear. So make sure we're authoritative. Um, What else have we got in the pre-framing stage here? Um, Like I said, trainers just think that an audience is simply going to use their programs and follow what they give to their clients. It's not like that. It really isn't. And this is why so many trainers go online only to then revert back to -to face-to-face. But we do want to create that leverage and that's there is a correct way to do it. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, Charmaine isn't actually here, but Charmaine has been so kind to share with me her transitional package. So this is the model, okay, for any of you guys that are face-to-face trainers of how to correctly transition or if you offer both services. So Matt, great to have you uh, here as well, brothers with us, uh, brother with us. Um, Suzanne and Kel, you guys do this. James, because you've got the online coaching that you're the, or the coaching product that you provide as well on top of face-to-face training. Mr. Pardo, Tane was setting it up. And again, I'd love for all of us to set this up. But again, just communicate it with me before you take a leap of faith and you start putting your focus into other areas. Don't do it, especially Suzanne and Kel. Like we're about to start marketing. Don't shift now to a new business model because we're about to do this. All right. Um, let me just let these people in. Admit, admit. So this is the model, guys. The best way to set up, the best way to set up an online personal training business is to use your face-to-face report and your face-to-face experience as a face-to-face trainer. And to set up an income stream online. But going along with that, it's about using a transitional phase to get people to be able to to make the transition where they are no longer dependent on a coach in the gym. So like we said before, a lot of people, they're, they're dependent on you guys. They are. That's why they show up to the sessions, right? They show up to the sessions because they need the face-to-face trainer. So what we've created here, Michael, great to have you with, great to have you with us, brother. Um, and you tuned in just in time for the main bulk of the, the value. What we need to do is create what we call a transitional package. All right. The transitional package transitions your body and mind from its current spot and current space into the better version of you, which is what everyone wants. But we also transition you from the accountability that you desire every single day, okay, every single day in the gym to transition into a way where you no longer need anybody else other than yourself and someone to give you the methods that you take action with. Does that make sense? So transition in two parts. Now, if you struggle, lucky, great to have you with us, brother. If if you struggle to, to lead generate online, right? This is something, Matt, we're just, we're going in soon, Matt. I think we spoke about some face-to-face marketing strategies, right? This is a way in which you can transition face-to-face leads into an online service with a transitional package. Who here would love to give their clients the best ever life-changing results so that they no longer need a coach anymore? Personally, that's what I want to do. 
because it's not about an ever never ending income stream. Like I said, that's a bonus. We get paid for delivering the value to Jono, to Jack, to Tane, to Alex, to Zach. Um, that's what that's what it is. The value pr you provide. If you can get people to take action with it, then you change their life. We let them leave. I say to people, welcome people with open arms, let them leave with open arms. Keep relationships there because those relationships will end up funneling you more clients, right? Yeah, so yeah. that's it. I'm going to share my screen. Any any uh, feedback there, Matt? I think you got... I was going to say, if you build a culture within your business, then people never leave anyway. That's true. That is true. Look, I and mean, it's one of those things. And if you're delivering the results like this guy did, a round of applause for Matt. I don't know whether you saw, but at the weekend, this guy took people to the national stage, right? powerlifting how many people have you got invited to the worlds next uh, we've got, we got six so far going to worlds in november so um, that's what it's about we broke 14 records to well uh, 16 records uh 14 national records two world records and took home six medallions out of 10 people there we go that's what I'm talking Another round of applause for that shit right there. That's just what I'm talking about. Guys, this is this is what it's about, right? Life-changing results, yeah? Like, what I want to say is about the culture thing is, um, like, I – obviously, I live – I know I worked hard to do whatever, but it's kind of hit me Monday and Tuesday, like, the last four years of, like, hard work coming into this position. But, um, like, the culture, like, my group chat that I had – I, I created that because I wanted to talk to my friends as my my clients as friends, but that actually created like the strongest community and people traveled from all around Australia to compete in nationals and they already were friends. And now our group chat is just like going crazy. Like people are talking to each other. We like wishing each other birthday, happy birthdays. And it's like a bunch of school friends. Like it's crazy. Yeah. I love that. And here's the thing as well, guys. Matt is solely online. Matt, so Matt is solely online trainer. Obviously, well, we've done really well working with, with, with each other, brother. Obviously, consistency and consistency, we've done really well. But he's talking about a, a community like that with an online business. So I think Matt is really, I always put Matt on a pedestal because I love the dude and he does freaking amazingly well. But that is an example of what can happen when you run an online business the right way that we've been doing together, where you can bring that face-to-face -face culture to an online delivery. Would I be right in saying that, Matt? Yeah, and I'll say like the, the way I got it going is like, because obviously I came from a... Um, a position in powerlifting where I wanted to make a change in the way that um, powerlifting was and how a lot of coaches, like they were very ego driven and I wanted everyone to be treated equal within my crew, whether you're a weaker person or a stronger person. And um, so like I really forced from the start of like when I started my business, like saying and appreciating and making each other talk to each other and making each other, like I'd write in the group when someone post a video and I'd write and like if it, no one wrote on it for like a day, I would get back in there like the next day and be like, hey, we're all a family here. You need to comment on other people's videos and give each other feedback and just force it. And now it just happens automatically. How fucking minutes that shit? How good? And I want to say as well, I, like big love to you guys, all of you, because I see, as you know, I, I like everything that I see. I, I like all of your guys' content. And now these days, I'm seeing Taylor like Phil Perg's shit. Right. Or Dan Pardo, like other people's Jack's like in other. I love you guys for doing that. And this is why we've got such a tight community here within my organization, like Matt has in within within his show love and support, guys. Like it, there's nothing bad comes from compounding positivity like that. And we have such a solid organization here of solid achievers. And it's ironic that all of you guys are doing freaking well. So Matt, thanks for that. What, yeah, I'll say one, one more thing. UniPro tells me that Simon's my biggest fan. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Um, so uh, I think Beck, right? I'm going to tell Beck about this. So um, we have a platform. Um, of which is it's not really launched, but I, I have access to it and you can get it. You can get access to it too. It shows you, and this is why a lot of the success Matt has um, is using the techniques that I teach him how to do manually, but uh, the software that um, shows you who's following you, who's watching you, how to communicate with them, 
how to automate all of it as well so you don't have to be on social media 24 7. so there's something really exciting um that not many people have access to i think there's about 200 200 to 250 worldwide and i was one of the first i think 30 so and you can only get it by referral only so they're in this sort of small stage. But for any of you guys that want to take anything online, like Matt's got the software. I've got three guys in the UK. I tell you, you have this. You, you got it too. Um, like this software is game changing. Um, and with that being said as well, going forward, social media and online training for all of you guys, like it will be game changing as long as it's done right. So with that being said, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you the package that you can show and pitch Fate as face-to-face -face trainers to transition people's results, but trans transition their need for a face-to-face -face trainer to more of an online trainer. All right. Um, so let's go. We'll get this done. What have we got here? So this is Charmaine. I, I, I'm, I'm surprised Charmaine's not here. Can everyone see this? All right. Yeah. Cool. So Charmaine, um, super good client. Um, and she's, she's done well, done well. But what we've done with Charmaine is that she, she's currently in Queensland. Um, she's transitioning to the sunny coast. All right. And with that being said, I tried this model with her and I tried this before, but the belief in the model, again, Dan, I'm really grateful for you to say the belief. Belief is freaking everything, guys, with online. Alex in NZ, dude, your belief in, in online recently has just gone through the roof. That's why we're, we're going to stick with it, right? Belief is everything. Look at that freaking wallpaper, bro. Huh? I knew I'd see it eventually, Matt. Look, you seen this guy? You see, you see this guy's copied my wallpaper right here? You see it? <laughs> <laughs> what a legend. I tell you. Right. Anyway, um, so anyway, Charmaine is now um, with me. We've been doing this for a while. It's working well. And we go and we pitch face to face, knowing that she's moving away. So if anyone's relocating or if you want to move people online, the transitional package. Um, and she's rebranded differently, coaching you to, uh, to coaching you to never need a coach again. OK, all you are, uh, you will, you will know, uh, you'll never need an eight to week, eight to week challenge ever again. That's something like that sounds really good as well. We're going to go through this. So Time to get results. This is Charmaine's, it's not mine. I haven't tweaked it. So I'm, I'm gonna show you how you could potentially improve it if there's any flaws in it, all right? But let's go through it. So time to get results. Bear in mind, remember guys, you're pitching this face-to-face, face-to-face, all right? World-class next level coaching. This is not another eight to 12 week challenge. This is a lifestyle overhaul. How good does that sound? And the, the, the trick here with this, guys, the language of which we use in all of our products and presentations, girls in New Mexico, as you're finalizing yours, think about the language you're using to speak to the subconscious mind. Tay, we did that bulk blast message before. That bulk blast message, I was saying how you get a um, something overhaul, a mental overhaul or something, to unlock what you're doing wrong or something like that. You've got to spell it out for people, black and white. So we're, create a whole, we're creating a whole new you. We want to teach you what other coaches won't, which is, again, a big selling point. I have the key to get you results and I provide the key to unlock your potential. Awesome, right? Have a look at this. Phase one, face-to-face, -face, six to 12 weeks. So what we're doing before we go into it, I'm just going to split it out black and white. A face-to-face -face build up phase to transition people online is essential, right? Hence why I'm saying you're, you're selling this face-to-face. -face. And this will work so well for so many of you guys. Imagine being fully booked, but don't, you don't want to hire a trainer, for example, or you don't want to take that leap of faith, even though that is the best way. It's the best way. This would enable you to take on people for a short amount of time face-to-face, -face, transition their mindset, give them your belief that you have in this product, to then get them to start taking action themselves online with your help. So you need a face-to-face -face transition or a face-to-face -face period phase of six to 12 weeks. And how does it work? First phase of your lifestyle transformation is to work with you face-to-face -face initially to ensure you're educated and working on form and, te form and technique. Your program, which we talked about last week, but programs don't get used, but... James's level of clientele with the authority and the price point. This is again, you've got to have authority, like I said before, with this product. They'll start using the programs, right? 
newfound daily habits and rituals, accountability with weekly check-ins, education on food tracking, nutritional educating, uh, nut nutritional education, creating your goals, making a plan to take action, start achieving, mindset, confidence. See how the list goes on. When you actually reel this off the tongue, guys, to people, the, the, the value is overwhelming. And like the only thing I could, I could improve on here, for example, is like, see what it says, mindset? change the belief system that you currently have to the one that you dream of which is the one where you wish you were taking action right that sort of stuff does that make sense like when i say that guys like instead of like mindset speak to them about mindset oh here, here she is actually let's get charmaine in here i think she's in um yeah let me see here she's in here i think i can see her Yes, she's coming in. Hello, Charmaine. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm just taking people through your presentation as we speak. Um, so you can see how like where it's, yeah, mindset is it, the only, I was just saying to the guys, Charmaine, the only way I in which I would improve it, just elaboration. So yeah. mindset, like people know what that, may, that, that means, but it's like, take your current beliefs systems and, and like wishing you could take action to the next level where you actually do, right? It's just elaboration. So like new lifestyle, kick the macas and fast food and bad habits and gradually transition into the healthy lifestyle you wish you could commit to. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, does, does that, Ryan, I can see you're nodding away there. Like, does that make sense, guys? Like, thumbs up. Even for like Michael, Jack, Tom Rose, Zach, Dan, Anthony, Tane, your face-to-face -face products, like I'm revamping all of this gradually, all right, it takes me a long time. Your face-to-face -face products, feel free to go in and elaborate on these things in your face-to-face -face tangible products. Does that make sense? Like thumbs up, guys, does that make sense? Like it, it, the, 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 the way it communicates to the subconscious mind is so freaking powerful. Rather than like you get training, education, nutrition, mindset, lifestyle tell them what it is elaborate on it and then we go down here let me move you guys up to the top again if i can move you guys there you go um the length of this phase will be determined on your initial education experience in the gym and general knowledge of your health and fitness goals right straight to the point it's very authoritative in the language and this is the way it should be like, remember, online clientele, online training is only for a certain amount of people. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to take people that need you face to face, but would love to be able to work on their own and actually transition them. So this can be pitched to anyone, but you're delivering it bluntly from the off and but professionally and politely. This phase is to ensure we are confident that you are confident and comfortable with your newfound training and lifestyle. Together, we will go over any questions and concerns you have to enable the smooth transition to your next phase for both you and your coach. Love that, love that, Charmaine, love that. Because what people need to realize is, is that once they transition online, they still need you, right? They still need you. Now we go into the value sets here. Now. Let me put this over the side. All right. Goal setting weekly follow-ups. Our goal setting with weekly follow-ups and monthly evaluations. Big tip. Again, you could elaborate on it. To reflect and fork, reflect, reflect backwards and forecast forwards. Right? Something like that. Um, movement accountability. Daily step and cardio targets to ensure that you're in a deficit or whatever. Right? Whatever. High accountability, one-on-one -on -one communication through check-ins, weekly check-in forms, weight photos, measurements, and stuff like this. Um, I can't see you, Beck, but oh, there you go. This is what called. This is what's called a product, right? You know what I'm saying. This is a business that you should have to be able to pitch. Um, <clears throat> training programmed and delivered via app access, including video demonstrations, 24/7 message service. Nutrition, accountability, and education. Tracking via MyFitnessPal. Education, support, and guidance. Capital E there, Charmaine, if you want to change that one, right? Um, support and guidance um, on how to... I keep having to drag you guys around. I don't want to put this here. I'm going to minimalize it. There we go. Okay. Um, guidance on how to use the app. Macro calorie guides. I would also say with video training included, 
So anyone who's done any setups with me online and stuff like that, like video guy, you need video run throughs of everything that you're doing. Tay, I know you're building yours at the moment for my fitness pal. Again, everyone else, you should have this as face-to-face trainers, guys. Um, like demonstrating, okay, this is a phone and we're going to log into the app. So screen recording, showing people how to actually do it. And the detail that you put in with video training guys will help the scale that you can then take this product without having to answer a million questions about the same thing. Makes sense. If it does, thumbs up just so I can see a few people thumbs. Yeah. Okay, cool. Access to a members only pool. The, you, go on. Yeah. Someone with, with the video demonstrations, is that like explaining the processes or is that for like um, exercises and others and stuff? Great question, brother. Well done. Look, ideally, uh, was it Tane? Was it you who messaged me this week and said you're putting them together, bro? Yeah, um, um, so I just started up using trainer eyes and all that, and I thought that a lot of the video demonstrations for the exercises were pretty shit. So yeah, I'm going through and doing my own video demonstrations and uploading them on there. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So look, trainer eyes is a great platform. All right. Um, I recommend a combination of Trainerize and a ClickFunnels members area, right? That's what I recommend. So your members area is your portal and your Trainerize is your app. Um, side note on that, guys, just to give you a load of clarity, you'll find a lot of people won't even use your members area. They won't use it. They won't ever use it, but it's a humongous value add right? And that's what we do it because it gets people across the line for you. And then if they ask questions, you just go, go to the portal. Like I said, uh, Zach before is like, where's the link for the, for, for the seminar? It's in the portal, bro. Do you know what I mean? Everything's there so that I don't have to send it out 50, 60 times or whatever. Um, so I recommend um, doing, go on. I was going to say, if you don't want to use trainer eyes too, like what I did is I built all my own spreadsheets. Like I'm pretty like OCD about what I do. Um, build all my own spreadsheets on Google Drive, everything's through Google Drive, but then I actually built my own exercise library and I have like thousands and thousands of exercises in there. And then when I program, I just copy and paste everything. Like it literally takes me five seconds. Like I go into the library and I'm like, hey, I want this exercise as a video next to it, click drop into a spreadsheet. And that's how I program. Like I write a program in like fucking 20 minutes. There you go. That works well. That works well. I mean, like it's one of these things. And then eventually like guys, it's, it's, there's, there's cheap ways you can get your own apps built and stuff like that. I mean, Matt could, for example, take all of his, his, his detail. Matt's, Matt's content and his coaching service is detailed as hell. Hence why he's getting people to the world stage of lifting. But again, you could take that, put into an app. Um, basically, Jack, to answer your question, you don't need to record workouts, but Tane, like he's saying and he's doing, it looks a lot better. When I did this and I set an income stream up, which is an automated 365 day program, I did all of my recording myself, but did that. Anyone ever needs any of that and you want examples? Cause it's freaking important. Tani, I should send you mine as well, bro. Like it'll show you how well I, I put it together, but I had a videographer and stuff like that. But anyway, hopefully, does that answer Jack your question? Yeah. Um, Anyone, if anyone has any questions at all, just come off mute and interrupt me. Yeah? Um, so access to the members only portal, um, blah, blah, blah. Everything you need to be successful on your journey, consistently updated with new content, recipe packs and uh, plus meal and recipe ideas, access to our VIP Facebook group, community of like-minded, uh, like-minded people all on the same journey and access to one-on-one -on -one personal training. All right. Um, what you could say with that one, Charmaine, if you wanted to is say, like access to one-on-one -on -one training, look, ideally you don't want to transition people backwards, but reevaluating with one-on-one -on -one top ups if you need or something yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Like yeah. you want to be able to give people the opportunity, even though we are about to, we're about creating leverage here so that you don't have to do face-to-face -face as much, give them an option where they can go backwards. It, it would write and read really well on the presentation. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's reassurance, what if it's not for me? Well, I think that's what you pretty much mean. Access to one-on-one -on -one personal training is pretty much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, is there anything, guys, that anyone could add? So people that are doing online or anything like that, I mean, Matt's obviously given a little bit there, but is there anyone else here that does a bit that they'd like to add to what is already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 points of value, which is, I always say a minimum of 10 points of value when you're building a product. James, anything that you do, because you're elite with your clients, bro. A lot of people get on stage, like 
anything? Um, sorry, yeah, yeah. So I combine um, like do a combination of um, in person and online. Um, and for me, like the best thing to get results is like a weekly check in. Um, so I've just got like a Google form um, that I send through my clients every like Thursday, Friday. And then um, I just say like check in by um, like Sunday at the latest. Because um, yeah, just like um, some of my clients are only doing like one session a week, so one half hour session a week. So um, a big component of what we do is, is that online um, account, like, and it's huge for accountability as well. So I get my clients, you know, tracking their body weight. Um, sending me through their progress photos. Um, I've, I've got all my um, clients on Trainerize. Yep. And then um, on Trainerize, you can link, um, like um, if, if clients are recording their nutrition on Fitness Power, you can check their nutrition and like set their target macros as well, um, which I find really good. Yep. Um, and they can connect their fitness watch. So you can check their steps, you know, make sure they're getting 10,000 steps a day. Yep. You can check the calorie intake. You can um, go to the train. So I, I find that's just a really good tool, like tool for accountability. Um, I actually find com like I find bodybuilding contest prep clients easier because they've got like a goal that they're working towards and they're highly motivated. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like you know, like a comp prep clients have got a goal and a deadline. Yeah. Um, so it, ma it just makes it so much easier. Like whereas someone that just wants to lose weight, but they've got no, you know. No account, you know, no specific deadline, and no account. Like, see, so you, you sort of have to set that, and you can use, you know, rewards and consequences um, yeah. to, to sort of get it motivated. But um, yeah, hope that helps. But, um, yeah, man, a hundred percent right. I think Tay, you've got something in a second though. I think though, yeah. with these goals, that's the difference between the small percentage of people that are suited for online. Like you guys, as you know, like with me, I did it. Like I was dad bod, freaking fat as hell. And I lost all the way. I hired a coach. My friendship circle could not understand why I hired a coach. They were like, aren't you meant to be a PT? And I was like, yeah, but I need accountability. Mm -hmm. Right? So this, the, again, the authority, but professionally and politely that you can tell James, he's so humble. He carries himself so well, but there is an authoritative authoritative stance there which is important if you're not having comp prep people like james does and you're wanting them to go online you've got to give them a goal or a deadline because that deadline for you're getting on stage like a lot of you guys have done personally on stage in freaking 12 15 25 however many weeks out you are that is your accountability do you know what i mean so hey, someone, hey, um, well, go on, well, sorry, i just want to say like um i've, I've got a coach as well like I, I work with an online coach um, and it's just for that as well, just for the accountability. Yeah. And um, when I, and I recommend anyone that wants to use like the trainer art software, um, that, that's one of the reasons I did it because I've got an online coach that uses trainer Yes. And to see it like from a client's perspective is like the best way to learn about the, the software. Really well. Um, so yeah, anyone that wants to implement that in their business, definitely recommend that. 100%. I, I hired my online coach because he used Voxer. I saw him done i was like i'm in i'm in straight away because i use it daily i don't I, I don't need to be prompted to use something anyone here who's tried implementing voxer and gone i don't want to use it okay i think you're one of those your clients saying like when you sorry let me rephrase when you try and implement voxer with your clients and they're like oh yeah no i don't want to use that like, yeah, yeah because i use trainerize and that has a messaging platform but the platform is not very great to message because i don't do the audio message that was actually the question that i had for james is go. it if you use Voxer still? Um, because I find that like I've always sent check-ins, but they've never, people never check my messages on Trainer Eyes. Yeah. I find people respond a lot better on Voxer with the voice message anyway. So I was going to try and work out a way to transition my check-in messages on Voxer, kind of like what Simon does. Um, and maybe, but then it kind of takes away from the photos are on trainer eyes and the weight is all on trainer eyes. And I don't want to have like a multiple umbrella of different apps that I'm using for my clients. Cause if I'm struggling to use multiple apps, it's the same thing goes for them. But yeah, that's just what I had to say. James, do you use Voxer? I don't know whether I, I haven't coached you about Voxer. Oh, I know. Yeah. A little bit, but with your online. Um, no, I just, uh, I, um, I use Facebook Messenger probably to communicate, like I'd say, but um, you know, eighty percent of my clients I use uh, Messenger because I, I can send voice messages and send attachments and stuff. I find that quite handy. Yes. Um, and then 
um, a few of my clients, um, I, I just sort of like notice, you know, if they communicate with me through the Trainerize app, then I'll do the same thing. But if they, a lot of them, like I'll connect with them as friends on Facebook and then we'll, um, so they start messaging me there. So I think, yeah, I don't know this is my theory. Like if you just did that initially and just, you know, mainly use the Trainerize app, then you could probably um, exclusively use that. But um, yeah, it depends what platform you sort of start on, I suppose. Yeah, I think for me, as I've said, Dan, uh, yeah, one sec with you, brother, there, but take yourself off mute, get ready. Like, I always say to people this, because a lot of clients ask, Sai, why do you use Voxer? Well, I use Voxer, number one, because it's a voice message application, and it's also live. Instagram and Facebook are not live. And to be honest with you, I use Voxer for speed, right? Live is quick. I, my time is uh, my time is valuable, like everyone else's. I also use <laughs> Voxer. I haven't told you guys this, but I'll tell you because I can speed you up. I listen to your guys' messages. I don't know whether any of you have ever noticed, but if you listen to me or when I respond to you and, I, and you're listening to my live responses, I'll say, "Give me a second. I'm going to listen to your other message." Have you ever noticed that I'll listen to a three and a half minute message in about a minute? It's not because I'm fat. It's not because I'm skipping through it. I speed you up because when some people speak this fast, it's quite frustrating, to, right? So I want to fucking get through it so I can help more of you. That's what I want to do, right? So that's why I use Voxer because you can speed it up. It's live so that if you are listening live, you can't obviously speed up live messages, but you guys get me live. And it's like being on a, on a phone call. Dan, what do you got? Another point that I like to make with my clients, I had a hard time transitioning them to Voxer. But yeah. now I say it's simply, there's so many um, communication apps, is messages, uh, Facebook Messenger, Instagram. I get messages on everything and I mute them. I, I prioritize Voxer for my clients. You're always going to get access to me. If you contact me on other platforms, I mute notifications. So yeah. I prioritize communication with my clients and I, I check them daily. I do check-ins and when you're in the system, then you're going to get better access. If you contact me on other apps, I just make it a point to not get back to them because it's just too much noise. Amen. Amen. And this is another thing as well for other people. Social media is social for a lot of people. All good, James, as well. I'll speak to you soon, brother. Um, with, social media is social. I use Voxer, all right, because it is a separate application that you can distance yourself from all of the freaking hype of socials, where your coach then gets put in the same category as your friends. I, I, like, I'm sorry, but I know for a fact that most people here would never communicate on Voxer with their friends. Therefore, I use that because it's a professional relationship where I'm strictly there for you guys professionally. And as friends, obviously, because I love you all guys. I love all of you guys. But do you know what I mean? It's a separate application. I can see you back there, like, sitting, like, with your cogs kind of turning in your head. This stuff is, is tested. It's proven. You are better using Voxer. And that straight away, back Voxer, it, that word, the amount of value that word is, I can't even tell you. I, I used to be fully booked with phone calls and I now have none. I only j jump on phone calls with, with prospects and people that want to sign up with me because you guys get more value from me daily than once every week or two on a phone call. You hang that phone call up, shit, I forgot to ask Simon that question, right? Vox is better. It's separate. Turn, you can mute the notifications on everything else. Just make sure you do get into a habit of communicating with your clients and never go a long time without communicating with them. Um, but a good point, Dan. Um, anyone else got anything about that? The Vox is really important. No? Nah. Okay, so that's the value that we've got here with this one. Amazing. Now we're going to get into phase two. And we'll pick up the we'll pick up the pace here. What am I doing? Let's move this thing. Okay. All right. Uh, phase two, continue with your goals online. Welcome to phase two. Now that we've built your foundations, we can start your next phase. Phase one has built you up confidently to train your own and feel confident in the gym setting. Coaching online allows you to, again, loads more value. Have the freedom and training whenever you want uh, to train whenever you want. Um, comfort, uh, confidently train on your own now that you uh, now 
You're now your own training boss. Um, more contact, more support with your coach, higher accountability, contact with you. I love the way this is written. It's so well written. It's like, oh, cool. On your own, on your own. However, you get more support with your coach. You're always relaying the importance of the coach and contact with you every day to keep your goals on track. This is what online trainers do not provide, guys. And this is why the guys like Matt here do really, really well and why working with Charmaine, continuing to transition with this, she will have over time a ton of online clients that are really accountable to her. Um, access to your new content and your education, 12-week course, week-to-week -week modules, achieve your goals we set out for you, further education, training mindset, gain more strength and muscle, continuously improving confidently with your training. Like, it's all here. We're, we, we in capitals, really, really, really clever, subconsciously, we as a team are here um, or right there with you every step of the way, right in your back pocket. Like you can see how, like if this was pitched, like if, if online PT was pitched like this by every single online client, I guarantee the online training space would be a lot brighter than what it is, but people don't go to the level that Charmaine's gone with this here. She's then gone through the online coaching. Again, I'm just going to read, read through it. Um, which is goal setting with weekly follow-ups and monthly evaluations, movement and accountability, daily step and cardio targets, higher accountability, one-on-one -on -one communication every day. So you can see how it's just transitioning into this. Um, weekly check and forms, weight, photos, measurements, and form check-ins and videos. If you say this to people, guys, in the beginning, for, in the beginning stages, they're put off. If you say it to them after they've transitioned, they're going to be excited for it. Does that make sense? Because they transition their mindset to be able to train like this, right? Again, combined with the level of authority that you actually give these clients professionally and politely and making sure that they're doing their check-ins and they're doing their photos and stuff like that. If you follow it, you'll get the results. Nutrition, accountability, and education, track and via my fitness power. It's a lot of the same stuff. But then again, the extras um, on top that Charmaine's put in. Habit, ritual, accountability, targets each day. Uh, via our program app, access to our 12-week course, week-to-week -week modules, training information. The list goes on, right? Then we've got on here as well five free passes for friends and family members to try. Um, seven days coaching for free online. Um, that can be put in at whatever fate or whatever stage, all right, of your product. From here, again, the detail that goes on is phase three, maintain and let you fly. Your goals are achieved. Now what? Newly focused dream body has been achieved. You're more educated. You've got a new lifestyle. You, this is the complete of the transformation, i.e. like you'll never need the coach again. Remember at the start, that's what we talked about. This is so people can never need a coach again. But like what Matt said, when you have that level of community, people don't want to leave because they've got you. Do you know what I mean? And it's that simple and they don't want to leave you. I worked with my coach for 15 months, all right? I'm on a break at the moment, but I, when I want a coach again, who am I going back to? I'm going back to him. It's that simple. Um, now that we've achieved your goals, we want to continue working with each other to maintain your new lifestyle and physique until you both, until both you and your coach are confident you can successfully maintain your lifestyle on your own, all right? Now fly free and enjoy, and enjoy a whole new you, all right? And that's it, 140 recipes, all right? The mind and body lifestyle, pitch at the end here where uh we are here to support you and you'll never need a coach ever again um questions about this first and foremost uh that is the end of the presentation i'm pretty sure charmaine isn't it yes okay. well done charmaine great great presentation it's it, the length and the detail in there is, is immense but you've got the three phase transitional period and it's that simple all right it literally is that simple price point Right, I want to bring you all into this. Charmaine, what do you do price point wise? Um, what do you charge? I'm bumping that up to $100 a week. Yeah, if yeah. it's like, if it's one personal training session for 45 minutes, plus everything else, it'd be $100 per week. Yeah, okay. So this Same is with online. Only, say again. Same and, with online. Okay, so that's yeah. a great point. So this is the only feedback I would give you, right? I would put in there, Okay, because I didn't make any changes to that. I use it in its raw form because it was freaking good. Yeah. At the end of the first phase, put the price point, right? Yeah. But then what you do is you show them the second phase 
And this is what I recommend people do. And this is the best way to structure online here, right? Your first initial price point is the biggest, okay? And that's when they're obviously getting you face-to-face -face as well. But over time, you drop the pricing down, but you need to make sure that the end price point is something that you are always content and happy with charging, always. So what you don't do is you don't drop it off the face of the earth to 40 bucks a week. As soon as you go low price, you get low level accountability, low level commitment from your clients, and they turn into low level clientele. People will happily pay 100 bucks a week for online coaching when they have all of that. So what you could do is you could base it at face-to-face -face pricing for all of you guys, most of you, minimum of 50 bucks per half an hour session, right? Minimum. AUD. You guys in the US, they're slightly different, okay? Now, what happens here is that that price point, you should never go, I, you should never go below it, really. I would start them off with a, um, I would start them off with a two session a week, 120 a week, 120 per week. And then when you go online, it, you get a discount. So it, in, it incentivizes them mm. to go into and continue with you online, 100 bucks a week. All right. After they complete, what you could do is you drop them down to 80 bucks a week, which is another discount, which ends up being not far off about 40% cheaper than the original price of the ramp up phase. All right. So you've got 120, 180, three phases, three price points, but you then you're collecting 80 bucks a week mm. from people that are basically in with you. They've achieved the results and they're loyal to you. All right. And yeah. all, good to, all good to everyone that needs to go now. Cause I know we've hit our hour. So right. No problem, bro. We'll speak to you soon. Um, does that make sense with the price points there, guys? Like most people think online training, like for, for example, hopefully you won't mind me asking, Tom Rhodes, what were you charging for your online training when we were in Adelaide before we moved to Melbourne? Um, I was charging, mm, I think it was 70. Okay, 70. And, oh, and I think a lot of people, um, a lot of people, is, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the sense that I used to get. <clears throat> Michael, your thoughts on this one, bro. Do, do you think most people expect online training to be cheaper than face-to-face? -face? I think with a lot of them, they probably would think it would be cheaper. Yeah. Um, just because you're not there with them, giving them that guidance. But I'm, I'd be quite happy to pay that, getting all that involved with it. That's, that's, that's the thing, right? So when the value stacks, and remember, guys, what James said, so there's two really crucial things that were said today. Dan Pardo said about belief. If you don't believe in this product and your price point, you'll never, ever do well, period. Because people will subconsciously <clears throat> take note. They'll, they'll feel your energy out with it, 100%. Um, but also James with this price point. And Jay, you can see, bless him, James feels horrible talking about his 150 half hour. But what does he have? He has world-class elite clients that pay fucking attention. When people pay, they pay attention. It's about the perceived value that you get with a product and what you can do when you build that into a product that's so detailed, like Charmaine's one there that she shared with us today. So thank you for that. Like you're gonna create, you're gonna, you're gonna attract the right clientele. Um, it's not about, and I think this is a really good way to wrap up here before we do a quick recap. It's not about what you charge, right? Cheers, Zach. All good, brother. We'll catch up with you soon. <clears throat> People pay, they pay attention. If you can structure it in a way where they're paying, right, but you're also getting looked after and, and obviously benefited for the value and the results you're delivering, that's the formula. That's the winning formula. It's like with me. You, well, you guys all have contracts. You can, and the contracted amount's 22K for most of you guys, right? It's a six-figure contract, but you chip away at that based on the value that I make you guys. I don't think there's anybody here that's not making money to pay their contracts. That's because I've given you the value in your business for you to be able to afford the investment. So, I mean, we do we talk, Charmaine, about 1,800 up front and then 100? Like, what, so what's the go now? What's your thoughts with that? We haven't discussed that yet. Initial up front. Yeah, that's the online transformation package. Um, so we were charging $1,800 either up front or it was $500 up front and then $500 a month or $450 or whatever it worked out to be. 
Yeah, and th this is the way, <clears throat> if you are solely online, so take the transitional package off the table, because this is a question people will have, how do you price products? Um, and Beck, if you don't mind, we'll hang around for five minutes after this, and I'll tell you a little bit more in detail. Um, <clears throat> upfront is always the best way to get it. Why? Because then your clients will pay attention to you. However, you can structure it with a small down payment so that they've paid, so they pay attention, but then have a weekly ongoing and a reoccurring, which is my favorite model. Right. If you do something low ticket, right, lower ticket, you're just going to attract lower level client, lower level client, lower level clientele. And <clears throat> it's nothing against these people at all, but it's the truth. It's the truth. It's as simple as that. Lucky, my man, what do you charge currently online? I think yours is about 50, is it 50 or something a little bit lower or 55? 55. So again, this sort of stuff, again, if, if you scale it like, you got a goal for it in mind and you want to have like, you want to make a thousand bucks a week. We need 20 online clients with that. Me and Matt Burton, the way we structure what we do, we don't need 20 or you can make 50 K a year with 13. And it's just structured. It's just structured better. And I guarantee as well, when you do something like that, and again, not to just like name and shame you here, Lockie or anything, but the, the flaws with a model like that, you go and Lockie, what he does as a coach, as I know him so well, is he pours all of his fucking energy into his clients. What they do, then they absorb. A lot of people will actually put a tangible value onto this workout plan and the nutrition that you've given them in their app. They pay 55 bucks. They'll say, bro, this isn't for me anymore. When really they're going, I've got my training, I've got my nutrition, and I paid 55 bucks. I don't let that happen to my clients. I don't. Because you, the amount of value you're giving, you've always got to forecast that that is what will be taken advantage of, right? So we've got to structure it in a way where they're paying and they're committed and X, Y, Z. Um, but yeah, the ramp up phase in summary, guys, it's transitioning every day, face-to-face -face clientele. When you become fully booked, this is a model that you can go down to continue growth and to, to continue having an income stream or to grow an income stream without hiring a trainer which is not for everyone, but 90%, 99% or 95% of the people I work with, they go train and route. Um, and you transition them with a ramp up phase. So you only do a small amount of time. All good, Kelly, no worries. Um, and then when you, when, you, when you ramp them up into a transitional phase where they're taking action, you can put them online. I would um, also just put a bit of emphasis on these guys in that build up phase to get them to do a session on their own, right? And you can, if you want, if you did like three sessions a week initially, you go first three weeks is three sessions a week. The next three weeks is two sessions a week. The next two weeks after that is one session a week. So you transition them, Charmaine, out of the face-to-face -to, -face to then be reliant less and less. And then you go, cool, this is tipping point. Now we go online. And then obviously from there, it, it continues across um, so that you're not going three sessions a week, three, 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 zero. Mm, that will yep. be hard for them it will be harder and again we're talking about lower level clientele not james level clientele where they're prep stage prep and, and stuff like that you know so um and that's it and over time you should then have a a longevity of client which is a good amount of time and therefore forecastable and predictable income into the future Ch tane my man what's up with that sort of transition then would you only bring them on as like either like gold or silver so like doing three or two to start with and then slowly cutting them back down you wouldn't like start them off on like one session a week and then yeah. get it yeah look bro it's a great point like the answer is, it is like start them off higher you've got to remember like authority but professionally and politely yeah. I'm sorry, but anyone that wants to learn how to be only accountable to themselves and make a full body transformation, you're not getting them on one session a week, bro. Because they're not, these people, they, again, nothing about them. But again, you, I don't know whether you guys like, let me give you it from my perspective, the power of the universe and what you will attract to you by being authoritative. I think Beck, we, me and you spoke about how we have ended up with each other right as well like like regardless of anthony obviously you meeting i oh know that was a different point you referred to someone to me yesterday but me and back differently you attracting people you attracting people right based on the caliber of yourself I, I i think i've told you guys before if you're a six or a seven trainer out of ten you're only going to attract threes and fours if you're an eight or a nine 
you'll attract sixes and sevens. And it's that simple. You're never going to attract Tane's, Tomorose's, Beck's, Michael's, Tash's, Lockie's, Anthony's, and Taylor's, and Suzanne, who's half on the screen. I can see her. Um, you're never going to attract you because you are out there going out and doing you, right? So you need to become authoritative with, with the client standpoint too, to when you only accept that this is what we do, you're going to start attracting clientele naturally that are suited to that product. Set high standards for yourself, guys, whether it's face-to-face -face or online, and you'll attract those caliber clientele. That's why, ironically, I have the best clients in the world right here in front of me, right? Because I freaking do not accept anything less. And people that commit, right, and invest, it's ironic that you're all making freaking return on investment, right? But it's, again, you, you commit to, to a high-level coach, and that's just confidence. It's not arrogance. It's confidence. Um, so, yeah. Any other, any other questions there with that? Okay. Um, would this be like a way that you think, like, cause you know how we were just talking about how I have clients that probably don't want to go over to train with a male yet. And I don't have a female to pass them on to yet. So would this be a good way to try and transition them if they don't want to obviously be bumped up in price and then, yeah. hundred yeah, percent. But again, only if you think they're ready, take okay. it from an authoritative professional and polite standpoint again. I don't think this is, I don't think you're ready for this tape. Okay. Right? Like tell them like, look, we can give it a crack, but I think you might not be ready or whatever, or your phase of transition have to be longer. Be honest with guys, man. Be yeah. honest with them. If, if you literally think that there is someone who comes on board or you're doing a consult with someone, you think you get to a stage where you're all freaking busy, right? And all of most, you are, you guys here, right? It, when you have a consult with someone, you're like, fuck, and you know, without sounding horrible, you're like, fuck, this person's draining me like a little bit, right? Do we feel like that occasionally? Tane, you obviously do. Tom Rose is nodding table, <laughs> so right? Michael, you, you, you've been through this shit a long time, bro. So honestly, you're better off just saying, look, I think I'd love to help you. All right. This is what I recommend. I don't think you're quite ready yet for it. When you are and you're wholeheartedly committed and you're invested because I can't afford it or they use the price objection, which is, as we all know, it's only a cover up for a lack of prioritization. Just say, when you're ready, brother or sis, you come back. I'm here for you. But then get them out the door because you don't deal with them when you're Michael's, Tane, Charmaine's, Taylor's, Anthony's, and Tom Rose's. You, know, you, don't, you, don't, you don't deal with them. Right? It's not worth your time when you elevate yourself to six figures plus. You, you, you don't. Yeah. Um, sorry, just doubling back to what we were talking about in our call earlier with the people that want to sign up with me now, it would have to be basically signing up to the gold. For the people that are only doing one session a week now, do I have to tell them you have to up it to two or do I, am I just bumping their up by bumping their prices up? Those, those clients will always leave anyway. Sounds horrible, but I'm just telling you the truth. Like over the years, people that do one session a week is, have any, has anyone noticed that one session a week is the ones to quit the easiest? Anyone noticed that? Like it's the way it is. They're going to quit. So like eventually, and again, I hate talking about your clients like this, but it's just experience guys. Like I'm not just, I need to give you the freaking blunt answer. Um, like they're going to quit eventually. So just keep them because if you palm those off to a trainer, they're going to think, well, our relationship meant a lot, didn't it? You don't care about them. So you keep them for yourself. Like when we, when we leverage sessions across, you always only leverage one of the two sessions they're doing or two of the three if they're on a silver or gold you never leverage all of them because otherwise it shows you don't care about the clients which is the undeniable fact that all of us do right we do all care so you don't get rid of them um but you could do the pro we're going to do the price rise template so that's that yeah. um, on that note to you guys that are here now you're hearing it from me first it is coming up to end of financial year time in australia if you want to do price rises if you want to set up companies come to me about it, but I'm going to do a little post on this soon. All right. And anyone needs an accountant, I have accountants that can help you and they're, they're freaking good. So anyone needs that, um, let me know. But any yeah, questions? Can you about, send that to me? Yeah. You, or do you want an accountant? Yeah. Okay. Just send, just, just message me on a messenger just saying, um, send accountant. I'm speaking with them at the moment. And as soon as they're good to go, um, I will send, because Tom Rose, I think as well. Did we, yeah. Tom Rose, yourself, and there was someone else. I can't remember. They want one. So I'll give you all, all you guys work with them. They're really good. They've sorted me out after my last accountant, to put it, to put it politely and bluntly. Accountants, they're nightmares to deal with. Um, 
yeah, any other questions, guys? That was awesome, and look, well done for Charmaine. Great presentation. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Look, again, it's about giving you guys longevity or giving you guys longevity of clients without having to do tons and tons of sessions if you don't want to um, leverage the trainer route. The trainer route, though, guys, it's freaking the best route, as Tay will tell you, as Michael will tell you. You know, like, um, and Tom Rose, you're soon to be, plus Tane, and eventually Anthony, and Lucky, and see what happens, Tash. That's it. Anything else, guys? Are we all good? Thumbs up if we're all good.